What's going on you guys? Nick here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can test a fuel pump that is outside of your vehicle. I'm working on, oh you can't see it that well, it's a 2001 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter Triton V8 engine. Uh, it was parked and then it refused to start. Uh, the trouble code that I was able to get was an open circuit in the fuel pump wiring and so I tested all the wiring all the way back to the little plug for the fuel pump and still got voltage and then tested the continuity. So what you do, you need a multimeter to do this. These are relatively cheap. You can see this one's relatively old but it's still a really good one and you just kind of give yourself a little sanity check. So that is the noise you'll hear if there is continuity. One second, I'm gonna go grab my tripod and I'll be right back. Okay, that's a little better. Now I can use both hands to test. So as I was saying, continuity, of course, between these two circuits. And then if you look down inside here, hopefully you can see if the camera will focus. Come on, there we go. There's four pins inside there. Basically, you want continuity between the top left and the bottom right. And on this new pump, I have it. And then continuity between the bottom left and top right. And I have it. So this brand new pump tests good, as it should. Let's go look at the old one. Okay, we are in the garage now. Looking at the fuel tank that I removed the other day. Pulled it in here because it was supposed to rain and I didn't want water getting into my fuel tank for obvious reasons. Um, you can see I plugged the big filler neck hole here with some plastic. These little valves, I'm not, or these little connections, I'm not too worried about. They don't off-gas very much. There's not much temperature change in my garage, which is the biggest thing that drives the evaporation in a relatively closed container. So here I'm checking continuity again. Bottom left, top right. Oh, darn it even still difficult to do this even with two hands just because of how tight this fitment is see if you can still see the connector yeah you can't see the pins I'm sorry but at least you can see the connector so we've got nothing and some continuity between the bottom left and top right but nothing between the top left and bottom right. So there you have it. The old fuel pump is bad. I'm going to get these swapped out and hopefully the truck will start again.